When it comes to COVID-19 infection, there has been a non-standard and vague terminology used for describing the imaging changes on plain film, such as the terms airspace disease, pneumonia, infiltrates, patchy opacities, and hazy opacities, etc. This makes it difficult to conclude a typical picture of the disease on chest radiographs. Put simply, the primary finding of COVID-19 on imaging, particularly chest radiographs, is that of a non-specific pneumonia, often involving the peripheral and basal lung areas. As we will discuss in a later lesson, chest CT is a sensitive tool used to diagnose COVID-19 infection. It can also be used to track the progression of the disease, guide disease management, and potentially predict clinical outcomes or disease severity. The predominant CT abnormalities in COVID-19 are bilateral, peripheral, and basal predominant ground glass opacities. Ground glass opacity is a non-specific CT finding associated with a hazy opacity that does not obscure the underlying pulmonary vessels or bronchial structures. Its presence suggests a partial filling of the air spaces in the lungs by inflammatory exudates. Bilateral, peripheral, and basal lung consolidations are also commonly seen, indicating a complete filling of the air spaces by the inflammatory exudates. It is common to see the presence of both ground glass opacities and consolidations in patients with COVID-19. Ground glass opacities are the main findings, but they can coexist with consolidations or evolve to consolidations. Sometimes a COVID-19 positive patient may show only consolidations on chest CT. Opacities often have an extensive geographic distribution. This means they are not round like nodules or masses, they are geographic, more like the outline of a country on a map. However, at times they can be round or nodular, as we will see shortly. Multiple discrete areas of ground glass opacity, consolidation, or both may occur in a subset of patients with COVID-19. Along with the ground glass opacities and consolidations, there is another characteristic finding that is commonly seen on CT of patients with COVID-19 pneumonia called crazy paving appearance. This sign is named for its resemblance to the paving stones used to hard surface and decorate the roads. This finding indicates the presence of both aerospace and interstitial lung disease. And according to the studies, crazy paving appearance was associated with the peak lung involvement, meaning that it correlates with the worst clinical and radiological picture. This is a typical example of crazy paving appearance where we see interlobular and intralobular septal thickening superimposed on a background of ground glass opacity in the subpleural lung zones bilaterally. Here is another example of crazy paving in a patient with COVID-19. So to summarize, the predominant CT imaging findings of COVID-19 include peripheral, focal, or multifocal ground glass opacities affecting both lungs with consolidations and with crazy paving sometimes present later in the disease progression. The lesions often have a geographic distribution. But what else might you see? Some other reported imaging findings include lung nodules and cystic changes mostly representing pneumatocils. Linear opacities may also be seen in some patients. These can be called subpleural lines and they have been suggested to represent fibrotic changes when seen after resolution of the other findings. But given the short period of time since the emergence of this pandemic, it is early to determine whether they represent a reversible fibrosis or whether they might clear with more time after recovery. The reversed halo sign or atoll sign is another finding reported in some patients with COVID-19. The reversed halo sign reflects a peripheral dense consolidation surrounding a central less dense ground glass appearance in the same lesion. This sign was mostly described in patients with organizing pneumonia. But interestingly, in a study of over 400 cases, half of them with COVID-19 and the other half with other viral pneumonias, the reversed halo sign was found to be one of the differentiating signs seen mostly in patients with COVID-19 pneumonia as compared to those with other viral pneumonias. Pleural effusion is considered to be characteristically absent in COVID-19 and its presence may indicate a coexisting bacterial pneumonia. There are some reported cases of COVID-19 with pleural effusion, although this is still uncommon. In the study that compared COVID-19 with other viral pneumonias, pleural effusion was more common in non-COVID-19 viral pneumonias. 
Pleural effusion may also be a poor prognostic indicator according to several preliminary studies. COVID-19 patients rarely develop lymphadenopathy, pre-embed sign, masses, cavitations, or calcifications, which often suggest bacterial or chronic infections of the lung. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.